Okay, let's start uh, with hydrolysis of salts. So, what do we mean by when a salt dissolves in water? It's either produces, of course, when it dissolves in water, it produces a cation and an ion. And the cation is from a base, the original is from the base, and the anion is from an acid. And depending on the uh, original acid and base and the strength of those acid and bases, the salt can be neutral, acidic, or basic. Okay? Can be neutral, acidic, or basic. So when we talk about uh, hydrolysis, what does hydrolysis mean? A reaction between water molecules and ions of a dissolved salt. That's called hydrolysis. So we have two types of hydrolysis, anion hydrolysis and cation hydrolysis. First thing, anion hydrolysis, which are for basic salt. Like, what is the most important thing here? Why are we talking about this? Because uh, for basic salts, when you dissolve a salt, then uh, how can it be basic? It's just an ionic compound. It doesn't contain OH. How can it make the solution basic? How can we measure the pH? It's basic. That's because the anion of the salt, it's a basic salt. So the anion of the salt is actually conjugate base of an acid. And the anion of the salt is conjugate base of an acid. All right? Which it was formed from. So let's look at this example. Kf. Kf is a salt. When it dissolves in water, it becomes K and F. There is no OH. But we call this salt as a basic salt. Why? Let's see why. This F actually comes from where? This is a conjugate base of what? Of a weak acid. So this is the weak acid. This becomes a strong conjugate base. So this F, when it comes from a weak acid, it acts as a strong base. And a strong base will accept a proton. What, where can it accept a proton? In the H2O or inside the solution? Of course, from H2O. So it will hydrolyze and take a proton from the H2O, then producing OH. Thus, the uh, concentration of OH will increase and the solution is basic. So th that's why when a basic salt, when a basic salt, basic salt means it's formed from a weak acid and a strong base. The cation is from strong base, the anion is from weak acid. It will form OH and a weak acid. As you can see, KF has dissolved into K and F, and then the FF has hydrolyzed. Then what is produced? OH and a weak acid. And the extent to which the anion hydrolyzes depends on what? Depends on the relative strength of the anion, which is determined by Ka. Okay, for example, here we have Kf, uh, sorry, HF. We have HF. The weaker this acid, the stronger this conjugate base. The weaker this acid, the stronger this conjugate base. So the better it will have hydrolyzation or it will undergo hydrolysis with water. Okay, so if we have a weaker acid here or a salt that comes from a weaker acid, then its anion will hydrolyze better. Because it comes from a weaker acid. So the weaker the acid, the stronger the conjugate base, the stronger the anion. That's why the better it will take a hydrogen from the H2. Alright? So that's why the lower the Ka value of the original acid, the stronger the attraction by the proton, of proton, sorry, by the anion. Okay? Because the weaker the acid, the stronger its conjugate base. As you can see, when... Uh, uh, an acid, this is just like from chapter 3, an acid, if it's very weak, the, cation, uh, the, the conjugate will be stronger, conjugate base will be stronger. So thus the ion, OH ion concentration increases until equilibrium is established in the water, and H3O will decrease, of course, KW still remains constant, then the solution will have a pH higher than 7. So what hydrolyzes? Always the anions from a weak acid undergoes anion hydrolysis. Always. All right. For example, when this question talks about NO2 and NO3, because NO3 comes from a strong acid, it will not hydrolyze. Because NO3 actually acts as 
weak base, weak conjugate base. But this NO2, which comes from a, a weak acid, acts as strong conjugate base. That's why the NO2 will hydrolyze, but the NO3 will not hydrolyze. Okay, what about the second type of hydrolysis? which is cation hydrolysis, which is for acidic salt. Acidic salt that is formed from weak base and strong acid. Of course, the salt, the weak base will form the cation. The cation is from weak base and the anion is from a strong acid. So the cation of a salt that is a conjugate acid of the base from which it was formed, it will also be a proton donor. So look at this, let's look at this salt. This is an acidic salt. Why? Because it comes from a weak base and a strong acid. When it separates into NH4 and Cl, when it separates into NH4 and Cl, of course the Cl can't undergo an ion because it, it comes from a strong acid. That's why it acts a weak conjugate base. So the Cl will not do anything. But here the NH4, which comes from NH3, NH3 is a weak base. Then NH4 is a strong conjugate acid so it will up this nh4 of course acts as an acid a strong acid so it's a proton donor then it can donate a proton to the h2o it can donate a proton to the h2o sorry about this from NH4 to the H2O, it will donate and it will act, act as a base, as an acid, sorry, and it will form NH3 and H3O, which is normally always for cation hydrolysis, is H3O and a weak base. Okay? H3O and a weak base. And of course, the same thing goes on for uh, cation hydrolysis. The lower the KB uh, of the uh, original base, the better and proton will be donated by the its cation, uh, by its conjugate acid. Okay, so the better that the weaker the base, the stronger its conjugate acid. That's why a better cation hydrolysis will occur. So by this hydrolysis, as you can see, NH4Cl doesn't contain H3O. Then how can it become acidic? How can it become acidic and drop pH? Because the H3O concentration in increases by cation hydrolysis, and the concentration increases until equilibrium is established in the water and OH ion decreases, but again, KW remains constant. Then the pH will be lower than 7. Okay, so that is anion hydrolysis and cation hydrolysis.